Hello, this is myself Imran with a series of lectures. Uh, this is our fifth lecture and in our last four lectures we have talked about uh, uh, the introduction, uh, the branches of psychology, the structuralism school of psychology, the functionalism school of psychology. This is the third school of psychology that is the gestalt psychology. Yes, that uh, the founder of this school of psychology was a Max Wertzmeier and uh, we will move towards the lecture now gestalt psychology gestalt psychology developed as a reaction to the structuralism in the early 19th so this school of psychology developed in the early 19th means 1905 1910 1920 that was the time so gestalt psychology is a school of thought that looks at the human mind and behavior as a whole so gestalt psychology is talk uh, is uh, uh, is uh, talked about the human mind and behavior in a whole shape instead of the sum of its parts that was discussed in the structuralism school of thought that the sum of its parts are better than the whole so that was the idea in the structuralism school of thought but here the whole is better than the sum of its parts that is totally opposite from the structuralism school of thought so that is why that came uh, as a reaction of the structuralism school of psychology. So gestalt psychology emerged in a way. So gestalt is a German word means configuration, a complete shape. The meaning of gestalt is the configuration. The whole is more than the sum of its parts. Yes, the whole is better than, than the sum of its parts as I described earlier on. In contrast to the structuralist approach of breaking down conscious experience into the elements or focusing upon the structure, the gestalt school emphasizes the significance of studying any phenomena in its overall form. Yes, it rejects all the elements, all the breaking down elements in the conscious experiences uh, to read out uh, them the step by step. Yes, to talk about. Uh, uh, it uh, the gestalt school of psychology reject that theory and emphasize that the OLR form is better than the sum of its uh, elements or parts. The concept of gestalt applied to everything, objects, ideas, thinking processes, and human relationship. It talks about all things that exist in this nature that might be object, that might be ideas, thinking processes, and human relationships also. Major gestalt psychologists Max Westmeyer, Kurt Pufka, and Wolfgang Kohler. We were talked about on these three major contributors in the gestalt school of psychologists. So uh, first, we will talk about the founder of uh, the school of psychology. Yes, the founder is the uh, Max Westmeyer. He born in Prague in 1880. Studying at the University of Frankfurt, he became aware of a form of apparent motion that was called phi phenomena. What is in a phi phenomena? He uh, he presented his theory in, uh, uh, of a phi phenomena. Phi phenomena when two or more lights are in close proximity to each other, flashing alternately, appear to be one light moving back and forth. Therefore, the whole was different from the separate parts. Yes. Uh, it talk about when uh, uh, when rapid sequence of uh, uh, perceptual events such as uh, uh, rows of flashing lights create the illusion of motion. So uh, so so that look in a stream way in a uh, in an organized way. But if you look that separately, then then one light is uh, is flashing while other light is not flashing. So that. Uh, so that make confusion, but when you locate that uh, that stream of light as a whole, so that is pleasant, and you can see those lights uh, uh, in the marriages, uh, in the parties too. Next is the Gestalt law of organization. In the Gestalt law of, uh, law of organization, uh, the Max Westmeyer has made some laws: law of proximity, law of similarity, law of uh, uh, continuity, law of closure, and law of figure and crown. First is the law of proximity. Yes, you can see in this image things that are near to each other are seems to be grouped together. Yes, you can see here the two lines here on. Yes, you can see these are very close to each other. So it seems that this is a separate group and on the right side this is the separate group so 
things that are very much near to each other that seems to be grouped together you can see here in the detail according to the law of proximity things that are near each other seems to be grouped together in the above image the circle on the left appear to be part of uh, one grouping while those on the right appear to be part of another because objects are close to each other we group them together yes on the left this is the separate group on the right this is the separate group because these circles are close to each other uh, there is the law of similarity yes the similar thing when when that will come together that will also make a separate group yes you can see here uh, the circles uh, and uh, uh, the law of similarity suggests that uh, uh, things similar tends to appear grouped together grouping can occur in both visual and, and auditory stimuli in the image above for example you probably see the grouping of squares and circle columns yes this square is uh, it seems to be in a separate group and these circles are seem to be in a separate group so the things that are similar to each other are located as grouped together the third is law of good continuity the things that come together uh, in a continuation that seems to be in a flow the law of continuity holds that points that are connected by straight or curving lines are seen in a way that follows the smoothest part yes if this line is a straight or in a curving way the curving upwards the curving downward and if these parts uh, joins in a midway in a fourth way or, or from the beginning so that if, if if you hide these three uh, if you hide these three spots that seems uh, so you can see in a line behind you can see in a line behind that is similar to be in one group and if you hide the bottom three spots so the so the above curve seem to be in another line another law is the law of closure law of closure means that that if if there is something missing in the circle or in the square that our brain our mind fills that circle and ignores them and uh, you can see this seems to be as a circle and and on the right it seems to be as a square things are grouped together if they seem to complete some entity uh, in some entity our brain often ignore contradictory information and fill in gaps in information in next slide law of figure and ground yes you can see in this shape that uh, uh, that in the in the mid there is a trophy or a glass while in a ground you can see there are two faces so in detail we can see here the eye differentiates an object from its surroundings area shape is naturally perceived as figure while the surroundings area is perceived as ground these two faces are seems to be as a ground and this trophy is seems to be as a figure so if someone look at uh, uh, in this picture uh, so if someone look at in this picture so if he see the trophy then it means that his his concentration level is on the object and if and if that person uh, see in a ground so that that it means that his concentration level is to the ground another is a Kurt Kufka wrote his famous book principles of gestalt psychology in 1935 he talked about geographical versus behavioral environment people's behavior is determined by how they perceive the environment rather than by the nature of the environment so uh, so here uh, the Kurt Kofka is totally talked about the human human's behavior and their relationship with the environment Wolfgang Kohler is another psychologist he gave the concept of insight and transportation as a result of observation of a caged chimpanzee and experiments with the chickens yes uh, the, the Wolfgang uh, Kohler has made an uh, uh, experiment on the chimpanzee he uh, uh, he he locked up the chimpanzee in a cage and uh, and outside that uh, 
that block up he put some uh, uh, some pieces of chickens out there and then uh, the process of insight and transportation comes the inside is the spontaneous restructuring of the situation means he has structured the situation he uh, he, uh, he taken some sticks uh, uh, out there and uh, and uh, in a transportation he he arranged that uh, those and he put those chickens towards himself other major contributors are zigarnik effect bluma zigarnik's experiments according to this we remember interpret task better the tension caused by unfinished task help us in remembering yes the things that are uh, that are interrupted and we finish that then the last thing we uh, we talked about or we remember that that remains in our mind for a long way group dynamics that uh, in the group dynamics you can see here that uh, focusing on the grouping uh, is more important than the individuals so this was a lecture so thank you so till the next lecture uh, i will say you goodbye if you have some questions then you can uh, then you can ask in the comments box so till then goodbye allah hafiz